Hello everybody, welcome back to my kitchen, and today we're going to be doing something very special. Um, something I've always been wanting to do is um, we're going to be making bread, but not just any bread, but cheese bread specifically. Me and my dad would take day vacations, we would call them, you know, being in Chicago, it was about 40 minutes or so up to you know, Wisconsin. So we would, up, we would um, go drive up north and then end up, you know, going over to Kenosha, Racine, you know, Milwaukee, for that sometimes. But on the way, we uh, by Kenosha, there's a place called Mars Cheese Castle. Now, we would go there, they're quite famous around that area, and we've been going there for a long time. Now, they now they actually make a cheese bread that is amazing, and I'm gonna try to you know, do something close to that today. I was also wondering one time, like, how do they make this? It kind of didn't make sense to me sometimes. Until I was there one day, and all of a sudden I witnessed one the, the employees actually making it. I realized what she did was take the dough after it was ready, kind of flatten it out slightly, and put the cheese on in the middle and roll it over. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So now, um, first the start I did, um, I found a recipe on the internet. Um, it's something I don't usually, my dad usually when he did do bread, he did the machine. So I'm um, gonna be doing it from an old fashioned way in a pan. I didn't find a recipe on the internet that was pretty simple, just something really quick and easy. Um, it requires two cups of warm water, a half a cup of white sugar, uh, one and a half tablespoons of act dry yeast, um, a half, I put uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt, a half a cup of vegetable, five to six cups of flour. So what they did ask you to do first is take the warm water, sugar, and dry yeast and, add, and put it into a bowl, which I've already done pre-done here, because it needs to to it needs to foam up like it is doing right now after the yeast. Even though it's dry yeast, I'm using fast rising yeast, which should take half the time. So here we go. So we're gonna end up at, at um, putting this into our food processor. We're gonna add the water, sugar, and yeast mixture here and then we're gonna as directions say we're gonna end up um, mixing the salt and oil into the yeast our, our measuring that is a teaspoon make sure if you have too much salt it'll probably not do too well so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna mix it in with the mix master hopefully you can hear me if I can't I'll end up having to cut this out uh, let me just eyeball the salt there's the salt. Okay, so now we so now we're gonna have, end up um, putting about a fourth of a cup of oil. I think that's about right, I guess. If not, we can always do more later on. And then it says to um, mix the flour one cup at a time, which I'm just gonna estimate this. Um, so we're gonna do this. Um, Shut this off. We're gonna pull this down. It's a lot easier to use to do, to do this when it's down. Put a little bit in. And put this back up. So it's five to six cups of oil. So I'm gonna have to get more. Just kind of gently put it in. It might get a little messy, but don't worry about that, guys. And then we have to knead it for seven minutes, so I'm gonna just leave the machine on. We'll come back to that after we're all done. All right, guys. So now we have it all kneaded and I put it into a bowl with some oil. A little bit more than I think I should, but it said to put in oil and you know go around. And I'm gonna then I'm gonna put a damp cloth on it, which is this one here. And we're just gonna let it set. It's said about an hour, but I think with the rapid set um, yeast, it'll be probably maybe a half an hour. So. We'll see you then. All right, guys. So it's been about 45 minutes, and I don't really think it rose very much. Um, but we're gonna end up doing this anyway. So what they said is they said say split it in half, and um, then I'm gonna spread it out here and you put the cheese on. So I'll do one, show you guys how it's gonna be done, and then we'll go from there. They said do a meal pop meat for about a minute, and then we'll. I mean, at least it's coming out of this pan pretty easy. Um, I'm just a little worried how it's going to actually turn out. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. So, 
Now we gotta basically take this and hope it's not too oily. Um, I'm not how fine it in half. Um, okay, it is at least taking it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's try to separate it like this. That looks about right. So I'm just gonna spread it down on here. It hopefully should. Hopefully, hopefully do what we're asking. Just kind of. And we'll just take the cheese, like I saw, and just kind of like put it in here. And hopefully it turns out. Now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna roll it. Um, hopefully it actually does does this. And now. I, bought, I put wax paper down to try to make it a little less messy, but I don't think it's gonna really work. <laughs> so, there's what it looks like. I already put, put in one of these pans. Put one of these pans pre-oiled, and we're gonna see how it turns out. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. And then, um, I'm gonna do the second one, and then we'll be back when they're both finished. Okay guys, so here they are in the pans. Um, and we're gonna have to let them sit for about another 20 minutes, and then I'll be back and they're all done. There we go guys, they're all finished, and um, not really what I expect to turn out. They don't look that bad, but we're gonna cut them through real quick and see how they look, and take a quick taste. They um, did come out pretty easily. Now this one's a little bit um, broken, not bad. Um, this one came out perfect. Actually, this is not bad. This one actually came out really well. So I'm glad about this one's so good. So, um, no. I don't have a bread knife, unfortunately. I don't think I even have one in here. We'll just use this one right here. Um, just cut right down the center. I hope they're done. I left them in there for about 40 minutes on 350. Um, I'm using a gas oven, so keep that in mind. Ooh, ooh, yeah, they're not done yet. So, um, yeah, they're not done yet. Um, great. Okay, so, um, I will be end up finishing these off. And, um, so they probably need to apply about an hour, I'm guessing. The way they were, they probably need about an hour. Um, but, yeah, um, I'll probably try to find a different recipe in the future. Um, so end up, you know... When I do find one that works out, I know the time. Then we'll um, we'll come back. I'll come back at you guys to make sure you get a, a better recipe than this one. But yeah, I thank y'all for you know coming and watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and you know hit that bell notification for every time I make new videos. And I'll see you in the next one.